In my last video, I discussed Marconi's 2,135 mile radio transmission that was supposed to be impossible under the GLOBE model. Based on the GLOBE math, that radio signal should have been approximately 640 miles over Marconi's head, but it wasn't. We talked about Knickebein and how English lives were foolishly lost because English scientists erroneously believed in the Earth's curvature that was supposed to be blocking German VHF bombing beams. According to the GLOBE math, those German VHF beams should have been 100,000 feet above the German bombers, but they weren't. We have also talked about Loran and how Loran was used as a navigation system that could pinpoint the location of a boat a thousand miles away from the station, again demonstrating there is indeed no Earth curvature. In addition to these examples, Sonar also unequivocally proves there is no Earth curvature. In addition to finding enemy submarines, sonar can be used for mapping the ocean floor. Ridges, hills, trenches, and sunken vessels are all easily mapped with sonar. Despite the detail of modern sonar mapping, no one has ever mapped or detected the Earth's curvature using sonar. When a Navy ship actively sends out a sonar ping, it will generate an acoustic shadow where the sound waves are blocked by underwater obstructions, like boats, rocks, hills, and ridges. You can see the acoustic shadow produced by these sonar images. These shadows are sometimes used by submarines to hide from detection. However, as confirmed by former Navy sonar technicians, which has not been challenged by anyone, sonar has never produced a globe curvature acoustic shadow. If the globe were real, Modern submarines, operating at a depth of 1,600 feet, could remain hidden from surface ships at 80 miles by hiding in the curvature shadow. Depending on the varying depths, a submarine could remain undetected from another submarine at a mere 25 miles by just hiding in the Earth's curvature shadow. However, no submarine has ever hid behind the Earth's curvature to evade detection, proving there is no curvature. That brings us to another U.S. government proof of the flat Earth, which is called SOSUS, the Sound Surveillance System. SOSUS was a once classified passive sonar submarine location system used by the United States to locate Soviet submarines. Essentially, underwater listening devices called hydrophones were anchored to the ocean floor at key locations. These hydrophones could detect low frequency sound waves emitted by submarines thousands of miles away. Once the sound waves of the submarines were detected by multiple hydrophones, the location of the submarine could then even be triangulated. Think about it. Could a submarine's very distant location be triangulated on a ball where there are supposed bulges of ground a hundred miles tall between it and the hydrophones? At a curvature drop rate of approximately eight inches per mile squared, the Earth's curvature should be easy to measure and detect in many ways. However, above water or below water, radio signals, sound waves, and VHF waves, high altitude balloons, or just simple long distance photography and lasers, the alleged Earth's curvature always seems to disappear without a trace and that should cause any independent, thinking, reasonable person to realize there's a major problem with the globe. Regardless, the sonar flat earth proof is pretty simple. Because there is no earth curvature acoustic shadow, there is no earth curvature, and that's a fact.